Whether it's a brad, pin, finish nailer, all of our customers that come in refer to all of them as finish nailers. With so many options to choose from, you're bound to have at least a couple questions on them, and Ohio Power Tools here to help you navigate the ins and outs of nailers. Pro tip number one, the pointy end goes away from you. So where do we start? This would be the brad nailer. This will be your most versatile of the three nailers. You'll be rocking 18 gauge steel wire nails, which blend almost seamlessly into the piece you're working on. This would be best on thinner pieces of wood, your paneling, your baseboards, you know, maybe some cabinetry in there, and some small exterior projects like, you know, a birdhouse. You really can't go wrong with a brad nailer. It's one of the best all around tools you can have in your kit. These nails come in a variety of lengths, anywhere from 3 8 an inch all the way up to 2 inches. Now you may run the risk of splitting your piece with the brad nailer if you aren't careful, especially with small furniture trim or softer woods. And you may need to fill the nail hole with just a bit of putty even if you're wanting to stain or paint over it later. The holes won't be as visible as those that you'll get from your finished nailers, but you'll still want to have some filler on hand, you know, just in case. All right. Let's get into some more detailed stuff here. The pin nailer, as the name implies, will leave holes that are practically invisible. These are also going to be steel wire nails that you'll be running, but they're only at 23 gauge. The holding power in the nails is very minimal. You'd wanna use this for your really delicate projects like veneers or joining trim pieces, or even really small furniture pieces. You definitely won't have to worry about splitting any projects with this one, but you also won't be using this on your thicker cuts of wood. Due to the size of the holes, you also don't have to worry about having them filled when you're done. The nail seals the hole for you, meaning you can get the painting and staining or varnishing or even being done that much quicker. But that does mean you'll want to throw some wood glue in there to boost the holding power of the pin nail. If this is your first time using wood glue, be careful. That stuff is strong. Which leads us to the finish nailer. These will run the smallest gauge nails, 14, 15, or 16 gauge, which also lands them at the thickest diameter of the nails we're talking about today. These nails have the strongest holding power and you'll want to use it for larger projects. Interior and exterior trim, windows and doors, stair risers and treads, and general carpentry applications. You'll want to have plenty of putty handy when you're working with a finish nailer, since the holes it leaves will be the largest of the bunch and will more likely than not require filling before you move on. So at the end of the day, your choice of the nailer is really up to you and what you're going to be using it for. The pin nailer will be your best bet if you're working on a smaller, more delicate project and don't want to spend time filling holes with putty. Your brad nailer will be the most versatile and comes with better holding strength than the pin nailer, but you'll also run the risk of splitting smaller pieces. You'll want a finish nailer if you're working with larger materials or thicker cuts of wood. But that just about sums it up. I hope our guide was able to help. And if you have any more questions, you know exactly where to find us. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work.